to write the net ionic equation for HNO3 plus NaOH, that's nitric acid and sodium hydroxide, we'll use these rules here. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation and it's already balanced, so we don't really need to do anything for this particular equation. Then we write the state. So HNO3, that's a strong acid. When it's in water, it's going to dissociate completely strong electrolyte. So we're going to write AQ for aqueous. It's dissociated, dissolved in water. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so it will also dissociate completely. So we're going to write an AQ after that. Sodium nitrate, nitrates are usually soluble in water, and then sodium is also usually soluble in water, almost, almost always for both of those. This is going to dissolve in water. It's going to be aqueous, split apart into its ions. And then water, that's a liquid. So now that we have the states, we can split the electrolytes, the strong electrolytes, into their ions to give us the complete ionic equation. To do that, we need to know the charge on them. We can use the periodic table to help us with that. So on the periodic table, we can look up hydrogen. That's in group one, so hydrogen one plus. Put a plus charge up here. NO3, the nitrate ion, we won't find that on the periodic table. So we'll go back to that in a moment. But sodium, Na, that's in group one with hydrogen here. So it also has a positive charge. Over here, we could write positive. And this hydrogen's in water. It's a liquid. Since it's a liquid, we're not going to deal with charges on this. We won't split this up. So for NO3, the nitrate, you probably should memorize that it has a one minus charge. If your instructor allows it, though, you can also look it up on this table here. So we find the nitrate, NO3 minus. So that has a one minus charge, a negative charge. Then the hydroxide, the OH, that also has this minus charge, this one minus charge. So we can write that in. Here's our nitrate is negative. And then again, we don't touch the water. It's a liquid. So now we can split those strong electrolytes into their ions. So we have hydrogen. That's the hydrogen ion. And I won't write aqueous until the end. Plus, we have NO3 minus. That's the nitrate ion. Then we have sodium, Na plus, and then that hydroxide ion, OH minus. So those are the reactants. On the product side of the equation, we have Na plus, and then we have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, plus H2O. We won't split that up because that's the liquid. So now we have all of our ions. This is our complete ionic equation. We can cross out the spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. They really didn't change. We started out with NO3, and we still have NO3. So we're not interested in things that don't change. We want to know what actually changed in the reaction. Let's cross these spectator ions out. And here's Na+, plus, Na+, plus. cross that out too. So all we're left with is H+, plus, OH-, minus, and H2O. This is the net ionic equation. Let's clean it up and rewrite it down here. And this is the net ionic equation for HNO3 plus NaOH, nitric acid and sodium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.